And another trooper from the Xenia Post of the Highway Patrol is in trouble for injuring someone in a crash. We've been following since August the case of the trooper who hit a couple on a motorcycle. Well, now we've learned the punishment for a different, another trooper at the same post, though, for an April crash that injured two people. Jordan Burgess is asking whether that punishment is enough. We've learned through these documents we requested that Trooper Paul Coates was given a verbal reprimand for that crash. We're asking the victims if they think it's a proper punishment. Now, this is the video of that crash on US 35 at Shakertown Road back in April. It shows Trooper Paul Coates' his cruiser smashing into a car driven by John and Daniel Harden as they tried turning. According to crash reports we obtained, Coates was said to be going 85 miles per hour and didn't have his overhead lights on as he tried to catch up to two vehicles he thought were racing. In the report, investigators say the crash wouldn't have occurred if Coates was going the speed limit, so the wreck was ruled preventable. Coates was given a verbal reprimand. We called the Highway Patrol to ask if this is a typical punishment for a crash like this one, but have yet to hear back. The crash left John Harden with his jaw wired shut for weeks, while Daniel Harden broke his third vertebrae. The two have since improved. I wanted to know if they think the reprimand is enough of a punishment. What do you think of that punishment? Is that enough? Uh, well, I think that if, you know, I think that in any case, if you're enforcing a law and you're entrusted with enforcing that law, you should, you know, also be held to that law. And I know if, you know, anyone else had been going 95, 97 miles an hour um, in a 55, they would get pulled over and, and be held accountable. Now, the crash report says the Hardens were not wearing seat belts and would have likely suffered fewer injuries if they had been. The two are in the process of filing a claim against the Highway Patrol. Jordan Burgess, 2 News, working for you.